Dan Kelly, class of 2013, Salesian High School. How has the B2G camp allowed you to become a better player? Well, the B2G camp allowed me to have better instinct training, you know, working on getting in and out of breaks, as well as my speed. So, you know, it's, it's a great opportunity for kids to get better. You've got a few guys out here from Salesian. How does that help you, you know, get better acclimated out here amongst some of the top recruits in the country, being more familiar with some of your guys from back home? Well, you know, being out here with some of my guys, it helps me get it helps me get a better understanding of how they play under pressure, you know, my quarterback, how, like, timing-wise of how he would throw the ball, you know, my linebackers of how we would do in game-time situations, you know, it's just you know, all, all that put together, we know what to do when the lights come on. What have been some of the biggest takeaways for you in regards to some of the drills and exercises that they have you guys going through? Well, the biggest take on it is, you know, getting my feet a little bit quicker. It's already quick, but you can always get better, you know, and just always striving to be the best. Now, you're amongst some of the top recruits in the nation being invited out here to this camp. How, how has going up against some of that competition helped you improve your game? Well, you know, going up against great guys like Victor Bowden, A.J. Richardson, you know, they, they allow me to get better and play to my full potential. You know, because I know they're going to bring it, so I got to bring it. How would you compare the B2G camp to some of the other camps that you go to in terms of helping you become an all-around better student athlete? Well, I would compare them, I mean, like I said, with instinct training, it's just this one's a little bit better because they teach you the proper way because some of these coaches have played in the league, so they know, how, so they know the experience and how it's done. How important is it for you as a student athlete to work with guys who have had that experience, who have played in the league, um, and working with those guys to help you improve your game? It's very important. It's very important to, to work with these guys that play in the league because if they done it and they and they got to the league, then I can only do it and get to the league. You know, as, you know, if we put our knowledge together, I'd be just another excellent player. Now, we all know any excellent player is just an excellent player if the academics aren't in line first. What, how do you work academically to prepare yourself for the next level? Well, my academics are great, by the way. I have a 3.8, so my academics will never be a problem. What do you, what do you feel like helps you the most um, in the classroom to make that transition to the field to become better? What helps me a lot is being able to pick up on things right away. You know, if you tell me something, I'll, I'll be able to do it right there on the spot. So I, I think that, that works to my advantage. With respect to playing at the next level, which coaches or schools have shown interest, and do you have any official offers currently? Yes, sir. I've just been currently offered by Washington Huskies yesterday, and um, I got San Diego State last week. Uh, I had a few offers a while back, Hawaii, UTEP, Minnesota, Arizona State, and uh, a few others that I can't name off the top. I don't want to be like sitting here pausing, but yeah, I've, I have picked up a lot more offers, and Florida State is actually starting to get interested in me, so that's another good one. With, res <laughs> with respect to playing, uh, playing ball at the next level, are you prepared to move out of state? Are you looking to stay close to home? What are your thoughts on where you want to play your college ball? Well, I'm very prepared. I'm very open as well, you know. Of course, your family wants you to stay home, but it's like you, you got to look at what's best for you and what you're going to be doing in the next four or five years. So all that has to be taken into, into perspective. So, you know, there's going to be a lot of thinking involved, but the choice is going to be made at the end of whether I'm going to stay home or, or whether I'm going to leave.